Yo guys, what's up? It's boy Nico Pro here, and last time I invited you to do a challenge. Exactly, the Pi Day challenge. And today it's Pi Day. And I must say, you guys have been really awesome. I got a ton of projects and submissions. We really need to do this stuff again sometime. Now, if you are really confused about what this project is about, I'm gonna leave the original video in the description. Be sure to watch that video first and then continue watching this one. But basically, I gave you guys a challenge. In two weeks, you have to find pi, the value of pi, using vanilla Minecraft. And I must say, some people actually managed to do it. And today, I'm going to explore how they did it. And also, we're gonna have a winner. So, it's gonna be pretty fun. Okay, the first submission was made by Tim, also known as Dutch. And he's a map maker. I think he also got a map maker cape. So, you should check him out. All of the links of the creators are going to be in the description. Okay, so let's start with his contraption. I have no idea. I've never tested it before. So, this could actually not work. It's actually a data pack. And he told me, in order to make it work, you have to do pi start. Okay, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, he's creating a circle. Okay, this is fun. This is fun. So, um, I think the way he implemented it is similar to the way I implemented mine. Oh, he actually got a value. Look at this. 3.141. Whoa. Okay, so that worked. Okay, I have no idea how it worked though. Okay, if I reload, this should go away. Okay, that's nice. So, he told me I could check the settings to understand better how it works. Okay, settings. Okay, let's see. So you can choose an angle, you can choose a delay, particles, instant, or spectate. All of the source code is going to be in the description, so you guys can check that out too. Okay, let's set the angle to 1. Let's see what happens. And let's do this again. In theory, we should get a more precise result, right? Yeah, as you can see, it's calculating the radius. Okay, whoa. Okay, this is a circle. <laughs> this is a really big circle. It's gonna be take so long, but we're gonna get a, a, an approximate value. So, okay, let, let, let's do this, okay? It's gonna take some time. And I don't know how long this is gonna go, it seems like it's going in a straight line, but this is actually a, a tiny curve, so you know, this is fun. I actually wanna know, okay, so as you can see, it's working with these entities, let's see if I teleport to the entity pi, okay, there, okay, I'm teleporting. Oh, so this is the default, like the, the starting point, this is the marker, and instead pi is where the circumference is. Okay, so I'm teleporting to Pi. So basically, the, oh yeah, you can see this. Okay, so this is an armor stand. I can actually spectate it, maybe. Oh, let me spectate it. No, thank it. I know there is a setting to spectate, but okay. So we are calculating Pi. And the circumference is the Pi, uh, the armor stand with the Pi tag, which somehow is going around uh, that little Pi marker. So probably it's doing like some calculations to try to keep it the same distance. And I don't know how it makes it so, uh, you know, uh, the area still loads. As you can see, it's not loading. Maybe I have to do spectators generate chunks. Okay, no, it's already true. So this is odd. Let me, okay, nice. I don't know how long this is gonna go though. Oh, there is a timer. Look at this, there is a timer. So you know exactly how long it's going to take. Also, uh, it told me that you could do it like instantly, uh, but that would lag too much. So this is why I'm, I'm doing it like this. Okay, so that's the circumference and that's the diameter. I'm gonna try to divide that by myself. Okay, yes, if I do it on my calculator, I get 3.1415, which I think is correct. I don't know if the 9 is correct, though. And bam, okay, the 9 is also correct. Okay, and then the 1 is not correct. But if you round it, I think you get 3, uh, you, you get a 2 here. So it, it got correct up to the... Up to the sixth decimal digit. Okay, that's insane. Dude, this guy made it. This guy made it much more precise than I did. Well done, team. And now let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, the next setup I wanted to show you, I love it because it's really original. Okay, so basically what they did is they figured out that in the end there is a circle. And this circle is formed from the obsidian things. So basically all of these obsidian towers form a circle. They don't really form a circle, but they kind of form a circle-like shape, which is a decahedron, I think. Yeah, so you can see that instead of calculating the circumference of the circle, it calculated these little red lines of the decahedron, which kind of resemble uh, the shape of a circle, so the calculation is not completely correct, but it's gonna be a good approximation. So once he found all of the little pieces, he summed them up together, and he got the circumference. And next up, he went out of his way 
because as you can see right here um, you don't actually know how much the radius is because it's different depending on the points so using Pythagorean theorem he found the, all of these little blue lines right here and he calculated the radius of all of those he took the average of them and now we have both the circumference and the radius then he did circumference divided by radius multiplied by 2 and we got pi and the approximation is 3.15 I mean they didn't use anything they only used I mean the Minecraft random generation so it's pretty impressive to know that that's actually the result you would get there is pi inside the end dimension and I never knew so that's interesting anyway this one was made by Ferg which is a guy you can find on discord I don't know if he has a YouTube or something I will ask him Anyway, before moving on to our last one, I actually want to see uh, what other stuff you guys have been submitted, uh, which maybe are not actual submissions, but are kind of a joke, but I I'm gonna review them anyway. Okay, so if you go on my Discord here on Pi Submissions, I said make sure to limit chat to a minimum, and you guys naturally didn't follow that, because as you can see here we have the first submission by Ferg, and then right after we have the one by Timmy, <laughs> what is this, <laughs> okay. But going down, we actually got a guy that just did a picture of a pie, because whatever. Then we have someone which literally drew pie in Minecraft, which I, I guess it makes some sense. It's not really what I asked for, but you know what? That's a good submission, okay? You tried. And then we have this guy that says, I don't know anything about pie, so here is a gif of a fox jumping in the snow. Diggo is gonna ban me, isn't he? Okay, well, this is a pretty funny gif, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it, okay? I'm not gonna ban you now. I'm gonna ban you maybe later. And I guess this is it, now we have to see the last submissions you guys send me, which is made by the command nerd, which is, aka, gkid812. Okay, so he actually made an entire map for us, not only a data pack, so we're gonna see a lot of command block business, okay, here we go. Now, the reason why I love this project is because it doesn't actually use circle. You may say, Nico, what are you talking about, pi without circles, what is this? Well, there is actually an algorithm which allows you to uh, calculate pi without using any circles and it's actually a really really simple algorithm. Okay, so basically this thing that I put in chat is true, okay? I have no idea why this is, there is probably a good explanation on the internet on why this is true and uh, I'm probably gonna look at it because I'm really curious now and I'm gonna leave some links in the description but basically if you take 1 on 1 you subtract 1 on 3 then you add 1 on 5 so you can see the pattern here right if you do this infinitely many times you're gonna get pi divided by 4 so what Gkid did is basically it did this sum or subtraction okay and then he multiplied all of this by 4 and he got pi and now we're gonna figure out how we did it. Uh, this seems really complicated though. Uh, I'm just gonna press here. I, I guess this is it to start. Boom. Okay, what is happening? Current fraction 1. Okay, so he's doing the first fraction. Um, he told me that this will take a while. This may take even 30 minutes. And I don't have that much time because I'm really busy and also really uh, I have a really low attention span. Um, he's actually making fractions, I think, using Minecraft or something. I, I, I don't know, he's not, he's not using the division uh, or, or whatever. He's... And also, I see some digits here. I have no idea what they mean. I mean, probably he will draw them later. Oh, wow. This is gonna take a long time. I don't know what, what he's doing exactly, but yeah. So what he's doing, probably, is he's doing the division using scoreboard, but then he has to store and keep track of all of the remainders. And that's exactly what he's doing right now, as you can see, he's calculating all of the remainders and then keeping on dividing them. I have no idea how exactly this is made though. You can find a better explanation in the Discord office, uh, I mean in our Discord, but also I'm gonna probably leave anything I can in the description. I guess we can explore around while this is working. Begin printing stops counting, okay let's do this. Let's see how well this is done. Okay so it's printing now, I, don't, I have no idea what this means, but he's doing it. Okay, so it's ready to print, so as soon as this cycle is finished, it should print the solution. And maybe, maybe, oh my gosh, that's a lot of, oh my gosh, that's a lot of digits, what is this? Oh, oh, okay, it's printing, it's, <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> this is so amazing, dude, how did you even, okay, why is this granite, why is this, why is there an armor stand here, I'm so confused. Oh, I see, this is the decimal point, so I only waited like 13 fractions, and it estimated that pi is 2.9. So it's pretty bad, he doesn't even know, like it's not even one digit precise, but he told me, and it's actually true, if you make this go forever, like infinite, 
you will actually get to pi like you will actually get to the true value of pi if you wait an infinite amount of time so it cracked it i mean uh, we can calculate pi using this algorithm and he told me that if you let it go for like uh, 30 minutes you could get actually a pretty interesting value like 3.14159 that stuff okay let's see three digits very fast it says uh let's see what happens if i click this button and then i do this Okay, so I also just realized, look at this, we can see the digit it's on right now. I mean, it's hard to see, but it's kind of calculating the digit right now. Now, it's trying to only calculate three digits, and it's still doing it. I mean, I feel like I broke this. I feel like it's not doing this. Let, let's just stop it, okay? It should be enough. Come on. We should get a pretty good result. Okay, so it's showing us all of the digits. Uh, it's doing it. Oh, there. Here we go. But this is so well done. I mean, even the printing, even the printing of the digits, everything has been thought out so perfectly. I'm sorry for everybody else that competed, but this guy literally won for a long shot. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, so here is the thing. I'm gonna give the Discord role to everybody who competed, and I'm gonna call them a winner anyway, but this is actually the guy which is gonna get the prize. Congratulations, man, you just won an Optifine cape or a rank on iPixel. I don't know what rank you want, or what cape you want, I mean, you, you're gonna have to tell me that in the description, uh, you know, oh my gosh, not in the description, either in the comments or on Discord, but congratulations, dude, this is amazing, I have no idea how much time this took you, and you know, only taking this much time just to make some content for me, that that's amazing, I really want to do these challenges again, because, you know, I see how, you know, it really, all of the creativity from you guys literally kicks in, this is awesome, and you know, you can actually learn something more about Pi, which is also pretty good. And yeah guys, that's that. I hope you really enjoyed the video, it was really amazing to make, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Oh, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check out all of the creators that helped make this video possible. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Go check out the description, go check all of them out, and I'm gonna try to, uh, you know, not forget anything, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. See ya!